<laughs> um, good morning, today's the day. It's 9.30. I'm on my way to do a final walk through the house. When I tell you this process has been nothing short of a pain in my derriere, I'm not kidding. And it's like over, well, kind of. There's like a lot more that goes into it after you close, but holy moly. It's inauguration day, Anna. I bought a house. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Wow, um, a lot has happened the past couple weeks. Homeowner, hey! So basically I bought a house and this is something that's been in the works for months. Back in January, I found this house that I love. I was looking throughout uh, the, the start of the year. I was still sort of on the edge and then I found this house and I put an offer in and I got it. Today is Wednesday. I closed on the house on Monday, the 17th. In the past couple days, I've just been spent on the phone, trying to start utility services. I'm on my way to the house. Haven't done literally any moving. Haven't really done any packing either. So, <laughs> woo, that's gonna be a little something. I put a bunch of cleaning supplies in the trunk of my car and let's go. Welcome to the first episode of I Bought a House. It's so hot in this fucking car. I gotta, I gotta blast this, this, this air. Oh, yeah. We are gonna go get Starbucks and get some food because I have not eaten yet today and I got a lot of physical manual labor ahead of me. So let's go. Let's go, let's get the fuck out. I'm having anxiety because there's a thousand people in this parking lot, but I got my Starbucks. But I just want to sit and talk for a minute because I've gotten some questions about hey, how did you afford a house? Like you're a fucking youtuber barely I got some DMS when I posted my photo about it Like how did you afford that? Like you're so young and all I have to say is two things that helped me make this path This is what this is what I did. This is how I was able to afford a house ready Dogecoin, baby. All I gotta say is choose your path. Just get you a sneaky link. <laughs> you guys, a lot is gonna change. Like, so much is gonna change. And I don't think I've been able to process it yet. So I just wanted to talk. Oh, the people on Twitch, you guys know who you are. You guys have known about this house stuff for a while. So if you aren't over on Twitch, if you aren't following me over on Twitch, please go do that because I spill the beans so much over there. Like, oh my God, I just talk so much shit. Mm. Mm, so bad. But like I bought a house. Wow. For what? Oh. Oh my god. You guys, I gotta clean the whole fucking house. Also, oh god. Oh, I just got a pain in my side. That's it. I'm dead. I also just want to say it's sick how how packed the Panera bread is. People are spewing out that bitch. For what? <laughs> We're here! We're in the house. Wow, this is just, look at this. Shelf. Wow. After some scrubbing, I am starting to realize that I need some cleaning materials that I don't have. I did this room. I like, I like Swiffered it. it. Looks good, but it still looks dusty. Like there's just so much dust everywhere and dirt. So I'm gonna go to Target. So I'll be back. See you guys later. Hello, I'm back from Target. And I spent $50. For what reason? I bought some cleaning supplies. So I've been cleaning the first two bedrooms. So I got these Sweet Smarts because I see them all over Instagram and I wanted to try them. I'm shaking, I'm so hungry, but I can't really leave because there's something wrong with the air conditioning and so the air conditioning guy's gotta come. Stay tuned for the horror story that is my air conditioning unit. Mmm. <laughs> oh. Okay, maybe I don't like them. Let's see if the po the Uber Eats over here is good. Yes, it. Okay, so I'm eating my Taco Bell and it's cold. Oh my God, what the fuck is on my chin? That is so embarrassing. It's cold, but that's okay. I'm over this cleaning shit. And these tacos are very sussy bussy. Mmm, very cold and crunchy. Something new always at Taco Bell. Oh my God, I look bald and gross. Hi! It's day two of me trying to clean and figure things out for this house. 
yesterday the AC stopped working so I called the guy and so I waited for hours for the AC guy to come yesterday get this and so the AC guy comes tells me what the problem is and then refuses to fix it because he's afraid his boss isn't gonna pay him for the job that was odd that was really odd that was weird I don't know why that happened but it did and so he dips he literally was like I'll let you know if I can come today and I'm like the sellers like hired this guy to put in the AC which is by the way still under warranty it's a brand new AC I look like Isabel. oh my god and it literally was so frustrating and I just like and I'm hungry and we're about to just clean again and I have work to do waffles here with me waffle doesn't know what we're doing this is home ownership baby and it sucks oh god I have to call a bunch of people for one I have to call a closet person because the master closet is just a box and the closets in general really really suck they're re like that's the one gripe I have about this house well there's a couple gripes but the one of them is the closet sucks so I have to call a closet person to help me figure out how to make these functional spaces I have to call a blind person because there's no blinds so I have to get blinds installed so let's go ahead we have a day ahead of us I'm so exhausted I won't lie, I'm exhausted. This morning I had to go to the house because I had to let the plumber in and the electrician. Basically, there was some stuff that needed to be done. So we made a deal with the sellers that if they gave us a little bit of money off the house price, they wouldn't have to do the work and I would take care of it after we closed. So I'm in the process of doing that, getting some water because I feel like I'm gonna die. I feel like I'm gonna pass away. Driving from one side of the city to the, to the other is just not fun, but but I have to take all this stuff and put it in my car. Yep, and tomorrow I'm supposed to move, and do I have a bed? No. No, I have nothing, I have nothing. We're gonna see how that goes, okay. There's nothing more sneaky link in this world than this cat right here. He looks like a sneaky winky link, bro. Oh, it's scary. He scares me. Hi, welcome to another day. Today is Sunday. And right now I'm packing up some stuff. This is just a box of random things. This whole process has been such a disaster because I didn't plan anything. And I'll explain to you why. I did not know if I was gonna close on this house. I was originally supposed to get the keys to this house February 22nd. Basically, I saw the house on Zillow. I went to go see it and I immediately put an offer in because I loved it. It was a, such a good price. It was in the area that I wanted. Usually you close on a house in like 22 days, 30 days. February 22nd of 2021 was the day we were gonna close. As you guys know, it's May and you're probably like, what happened? Well, there were some issues with the house. There were things that weren't right. There were permit issues. It, unfortunately, it took three months and closing kept getting pushed back like five, six times. It took three months for them to figure it out, but you know what we're here now so that's what happened basically i'm not going to go into too much detail because at this point it doesn't really matter just know it has been the most frustrating annoying heartbreaking process hi <clears throat> i'm feeling a smidge overwhelmed i guess you could say also, don't look at me. I'm eating Starbucks because it's the only thing I know what, that's the only thing that's consistent. I'm panicking because I want to move and I packed up all my work stuff, but I don't have a desk or a bed and like no furniture. <laughs> I had like a mini moment where I was like, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck. Anyways, the goals for today is to just get a desk and somewhere to sleep. The panic is setting in. Sue the ad bikes. I'm about to blow a gasket. But I'm trying to not. Oh my goodness. Hello, everybody. I am in a car. It's been a day. So my friend Azure came over and she made a plan because I don't have one. It's what happens when you're severely under medicated <laughs> as an ADHD individual. But I have food right here that I'm gonna eat because I am motherfucking starving. I went to this Lebanese place in Pond City Market because I wanted to buy a couch and almost dropped $3,000 on a couch, but decided not to. Oh, and I also got this. I got cookie dough. Double homicide. Yeah, I got dessert and food. I got a mattress. I got an office chair. That's it. No one has 
desks. You have to order them all online. I gotta show you this couch, you guys. It was beautiful. <laughs> I almost bought it. It's right there. You can't even see it. I'm sitting in the parking lot of Pond City Market. Azure went into a Sephora, and I was like, I can't do that. Too much. Yeah, my love falafel. My home country. I thought I was gonna pass out in there. Blood sugar unreasonably low. Hello, you guys. Sorry, I had to fish you out of my bag. Waffle's not having a good time. You guys, what is up? I've been so bad at vlogging. Moving has been so hectic. But look, it's my room. <laughs> and I put up some new curtains. You like them? So regular curtains, don't have them yet. I'm afraid someone's gonna be looking at me while I sleep. Don't want that, so here we are. I'm trying to figure out how to put this mattress protector on my bed and basically today was just a lot of back and forth from my parents house to the new house moving sucks dick bathroom <laughs> two nozzles you know what that means i have no hot water which i guess is good if the ac is not working the lights in the bathroom won't turn on don't know why <laughs> overall just feeling anxious and sad and waffle stained my sheets he went in the mud <laughs> and i don't have a washer or dry <laughs> it's the bare necessities that we take for granted <laughs> pov i'm about to headbutt you hi i just woke up low-key not feeling the best mentally because things just keep going wrong and i don't know why la i went i went out last night with some friends and i got home and the living room and the kitchen lights and the half bath lights just stop working and i don't know why uh the air still doesn't work i still don't have hot water and it's like as the days go on things just keep going wrong and it's weird because this house had like many inspections so i don't really know why these this is happening i'm just so stressed out i cannot believe this is happening on top of that i have a ton of work to do and if the electricity keeps going out i don't even know it's like every hour something goes wrong i still don't have hot water so i feel sticky because i didn't take a shower last night this has not been easy from the from the get-go this journey has been not easy and it's just been problem after problem and i thought you know finally they fix all the problems i can move in but like the problems are persisting i'm so stressed 